every time. Now, some people think you'll get a nosebleed if you go south of the river, but in fact, some of Britain's greatest treasures are here at the Horniman Museum. Paolo, nice to see you. Now, Frederick John Horniman was a tea trader who travelled all around the world collecting amazing stuff, which he kept in his house until his wife got a bit fed up with it. Um, he got all this stuff together and donated the whole lot to the public so that they would have a free museum where they could come to learn about this massive, wonderful, wide world. These days, it turned to David Attenborough, but when this museum was established, there was no TV. It's still nice to see them up close. Oh, so it's like, fantastic. Uh... This is the tip of the iceberg. We've got the eye eye down here. The moon rat's brilliant as well. Where's that from? Shiva and Carly. Oh, like the Temple of Doom. <laughs> Drop them, Dr. Joel. You betrayed Shiva. <laughs> so tell me about this walrus. It's referred to as the overstuffed walrus. And I think the taxidermist has probably never seen a walrus before. You can see these lines all around the body where there would have been rolls of fat. Sort of had a facelift, really. Kind of, yeah. It's just pulled a bit tight. Oh, that's the sort of thing that I find really interesting. Apparently Queen Victoria said he was a magnificent specimen. We've got a quarter of a million objects in natural history alone. A hyena tooth, scarab beetles, the mermaid that we've got in the collection. Really, really cool object. One of the largest musical instrument collections in Europe. Some ivory there, some horn there. What's your favourite part so far? The music area. I really like the piano with the painting on it. We have musical instrument anthropology. We have natural history. Then we've got the aquarium downstairs. Very well respected. Really, really cool space. We love the Horton Museum. You get different things out of it each time, which is nice, you know, as they grow up. And we've got about 16 acres of gardens. This is great. On a clear day like today, it really is one of the best views of London you can get. It's just glorious. I'm not just saying this. I think this is fast to become my favourite museum, easily. It's brilliant. So it's about 43 million years old. More importantly, it's the first thing I acquired when I started working at the museum. Very, very pleased with that. That's the best thing I got. There's so much stuff, I'm not sure.